I'm Manfred Bochmann. I'm now a professor of inorganic chemistry at the University of East Anglia in Norwich. I think the word is interesting. <coughs> um, he was uh, inspiring in many ways. Uh, perhaps not the ideal PhD supervisor for less experienced people, uh, but uh, he was one of these uh, characters who uh, had... You always had the feeling that he had already investigated all the opportunities that, and all the ideas you might suggest to him before. He was waiting for you to come out with them. He was, had lots of ideas, but... Uh, um, there wasn't really an awful lot of thinking through these ideas, so it wasn't obvious to people like me uh, initially uh, where this was all leading. I remember once asking him what sort of chemistry he was interested in, and the answer came back, well, I'm interested in chemistry that works. So he had uh, a scattergun approach. Uh, he would produce hundreds of ideas and perhaps one in ten or one in fifty might be uh, really worthwhile. So you were left lots of little notes on the table, try this, try that, try the other. And uh, as I say, one need to, needed to filter those in a sensible fashion because you couldn't possibly uh, try them all out. Um, and uh, occasionally, of course, it was a jackpot. Well, we, we produced quite a number of uh, nice results towards the second part of my PhD. I think that is the usual learning curve that most PhD students go through. Um, and since I did my PhD in two years for all sorts of reasons, um, I needed to hurry up and get my results quick. Well, yes, many years later, he asked me to uh, be co-author on his famous textbook, mm -hmm. the sixth and last edition. And uh, so I collaborated with him then. Um, I even got, I think, the last letter that he ever wrote, because we had been in discussion with the details of the sixth edition on a Tuesday, and uh, on a Thursday that week, I received a phone call that he had tragically died and on the Friday morning I got a letter which he must have posted on Wednesday afternoon about the sixth edition. Uh, so that is a memento that uh, I still keep, of course. He was an interesting character in the sense that although he may not have had all the ideas himself, he uh, was very good and he had this undefinable quality of being able to inspire other people to have ideas. So it was almost the expectation amongst the slightly more experienced people in his group certainly to come up with stuff that would be original and new. And, new. and that is uh, probably what characterized him more than any. I've worked with others like Gordon Stone and so on, uh, but that set him apart in many ways. He had this undefinable character of inspiring people, which is a difficult one to learn. I wish I had it.